This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. How does this become a thing? Is Heyman pushing for, hey, what if we added ECW to this WWF WCW war? Because it does feel like there's a pivot. And, and I don't know if that match would have went well, talking about the Booker T and, and, and Buff Bagwell match, if that thing would have gone swimmingly, I don't know that we would have seen ECW be introduced into this invasion angle. When do you remember that becoming the new thing? Or was that always the plan? I think that, uh, the inevitability of utilizing, uh, talents from ECW was just prominent. I thought it was a no brainer. Yeah. Uh, cause we, again, here's the thing we talked about this. Because of a variety of issues, Conrad, we didn't have accessibility to a lot of people. And the, the ECW guys that we brought in originally were all really good workers. Uh, they had, they were hungry. They, a lot of them had dreamed their whole life of being in WWE. Uh, you know, uh, I guarantee the Dudleys had, they grew up in that area. So they, they obviously, you know, were fans of of the brand, they not have been fans of the philosophies of some, at some times, but they knew it was stable work. They knew they were getting paid on time. They may sound like a no, not a big deal to some people They're getting paid on time. Well, it is a big deal. And so by coming to WWE, they knew that they're going to get paid like clockwork and it was not going to be a, you know, where's my check type deal. You've heard all those stories, you know, Heyman's got the, he left the checks at home or right, right. whatever, you know. So, uh, but I thought it was a no brainer because it added, it added a quality depth that we didn't have because of all these, uh, defections for injury or movies or whatever the case may be. Well, the Atlanta raw is where ECW morphs into this angle, uh, with uh, WCW Stephanie McMahon is going to be revealed as the new owner of ECW. And again, as silly as that sounds context is King Shane quote unquote owns WCW. So. All fun storylines, still getting the McMahons involved. And don't forget, we're not too far removed from a WrestleMania where we had a McMahon in every corner. Uh, but the dynamic is certainly changing here. Were you, listen, you've been through this type of thing before with the whole Bill Watts and Crockett stuff there. It makes the observer that uh, a lot of the WWF guys are resenting the WCW guys because they've been on the payroll since the end of March. And here we are now in July and they're just now starting on the road. And of course the WWF guys, man, they're burning the candle at both ends. They're on a real grind and supposedly quote unquote, there is a feeling that some of the WCW guys walk around the locker room, really cocky. The biggest heat was on Booker, Stacy Keebler, Bagwell, Palumbo and O'Hare. Jim, you're running talent relations. Are you hearing from WWF folks? That, yeah. Uh, and I had the same answer to all of them. Are you getting paid? Yes. Did you come here to work? Yes. Are you worried about the competition? Does somebody may come in and outperform you and take your spot? Yes. They didn't want to say yes to that one because that would be less macho, less alpha male-ish or alpha female-ish, whatever it may be. So, uh, yeah, I had plenty of conversations about that. And the other side of that was, look, if, you, if, if working here now under these circumstances is unattainable to you, then let's get you someplace where you can be happy. In other words, I'll release your ass. I just got to go through the old man. He's not going to want you here if you don't want to be here. So that's kind of what I looked at it, Conrad. You know, you're getting paid your fair wage and you're being used a lot. You're on television a lot. You got a chance to get over. You don't have the Austin rock competition at that moment. You got chances to get some spotlight sh shined on you. So, uh, but I didn't have a lot of sympathy for that. Well, they've been getting paid since March. What the fuck do you care? Exactly. What do you care what, when they're getting paid? Uh, so that's, I was a little hard ass in that area because, you know, a lot of them it will tell you when you, when you hire them, oh, this is my dream job. i never wanted anything more in my professional life than to work in WWE. Well, great. Well, here you are. Here's your Jersey. Now go play. And that's kind of how I looked at the situation. That other stuff was just professional jealousy and insecurity. I would do want to talk about, uh, 
something you and I have, I believe. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.